Supporting great causes in our community is important to us here at Local 4 and Live in the D. In a couple of weeks, a very special event to do just that gets underway. Our sponsor, the Capuchin Soup Kitchen Telethon, kicks off October 5th, and we are asking you to join us and help get things rolling early. For more than 90 years, the Capuchin Soup Kitchen has been a source of hope, feeding bodies, nourishing spirits, and strengthening communities. To learn more about how you can help them continue to help women, children, and men in our community, we are joined by Brother Gary Wegner. Thank you for being with us. Thank you, Tati. It is our pleasure, of course. So please give us an overview of the services that the Capuchin Soup Kitchen provides in our community. Sure. Of course, our core mission is uh, to feed people, as you said. And so we have two uh, meal sites to provide our guests with uh, tasty and nutritious meals at one site twice a day and at our Connor site three times a day. We also have our On the Rise Bakery and the Bakehouse, which where the uh, products are made, where I am standing right now. Uh, we have our uh, also Earthworks uh, Urban Farm Program that provides uh, fresh produce and our Jefferson House uh, program for men who are in recovery from alcohol or drug addiction. So there's a lot of programs. Very nice. Very, lots of programs that you're nourishing bodies and filling stomachs and nourishing souls at the same time. So let's talk a little bit more about the other services that you provide to the community. Well, the Earthworks program is an urban farm. We have uh, greenhouses, uh, we have garden plots. Uh, uh, prior to COVID, we had community gardens. Uh, I just had a conversation actually yesterday morning with our manager about hoping to restart that program at some point in the very near future. Uh, Rope House is a residential program for the men who staff the bakehouse here, and uh, they are often fr either have completed sentences in uh, prison uh, or are recovering uh, alcoholics or addicts uh, and are contributing to the community and learning skills. Very nice, very nice. Now, how can the public help support you? Uh, the public can help support us by uh, tuning in to the telethon in October and uh, donating. Uh, of course, we're open to donations at any time and volunteering. We uh, have a volunteer hub as well for uh, those who would like to get more hands-on involvement. All right, now let's talk a bit about why the telethon is so important. Uh, the telethon is really important to us because normally at this time of the year, we would be having our annual sock dinner, uh, which is our major fundraiser of the year. But because of COVID, restrictions we have not been able to have that now last year and this year and so the telethon has become a very important substitute uh, for the uh, sock dinner okay great information and we're all looking forward to supporting thank you so much for joining us today you're welcome thank you it's our pleasure the Capuchin Kitchen Telethon is two weeks from today, Tuesday, October 5th. We invite you to show your support now by making a donation for that. Visit the website csktelethon.org or you can call 313-579-2100.